Hi, welcome everybody. Um, thank you for a warm welcome. Uh, um, as you can guess from my San Franciscan accent, I'm, um, I'm living in San Francisco. Um, I moved here two years ago from, uh, from Poland. And um, I moved here with my startup. I was doing uh, robotics. And, um, and what I found, uh, IBM was um, uh, hiring developer advocates to, um, to, um, to go and reach out to the um, develop, developer community um, and talk about robots, uh, about IoT, about um, cognitive solutions. So I thought it's pretty pretty cool uh, topic, and I joined IBM to, to do that. And, um, and today we are going exactly to, to show you one of the things live. Uh, I hope everything works. Um, so uh, one of the things I would like to show you is uh, how you can consume with Watson uh, some IoT, and uh, you will see how I'm using um, a standard protocols uh, in order to um, make my IoT and robots alive. It's very simple demo, and um, but it's very powerful because um, behind that you will see the um, not only guts of the of the IoT, so electronics and uh, software, but also some cognitive solutions and. Um, IBM is using Watson, um, the thing that won uh, GeoParty some time ago, and um, it's really a persona at the moment. It's, co it's cognitive service, so you can um, you can develop more and more um, um, services based on that, and you can consume them both in a, uh, in a very simple bot uh, for text to speech and uh, speech to text or. Um, like uh, I've seen a jib over here, so a small robot that can talk to the cloud and back and uh, talk to you. You can use them in um, in various uh, uh, applications and even in a, in a um, text-based, uh, so SMS-based um, computing. So you can uh, you can use it for for various interactions. And IBM is leveraging uh, uh, its cloud, which is uh, Bluemix. And if you have time uh, between sessions, uh, you are welcome to visit the uh, IBM booth over here. Uh, we, uh, we can answer more questions over there uh, face to face. So um, uh, one of the services uh, you can use, it's, uh, these are mobile services based on the cloud. And um, I, I, I won't talk too much uh, uh, about them. Uh, but you might find that IBM is providing in, in its uh, catalog um, third-party services like Twilio. And uh, you can consume Twilio, uh, Twilio service directly from uh, IBM Cloud inside your applications. So there are about 18 uh, available um, cognitive solutions, uh, co cognitive um, APIs that you can consume. I'm going to use just one of them, uh, which is uh, sentiment analysis. Extremely simple, but it will give you the idea how you can uh, consume it in, the, in your very simple apps that can become very powerful later on. So, um, so uh, one uh, last remark b before the demo. Uh, the solution itself, uh, Bluemix Cloud, allows you to create uh, full stack applications uh, with backend, uh, with data, uh, with DevOps. So you can uh, create everything you, um, you really need. It's a platform as a service. And uh, we like to distinguish it from, uh, from other uh, clouds out there because we are so powerful uh, uh, delivering the clouds uh, all over the planet. So um, I will move out from, um, um, from, uh, from, from this presentation. And um, let me close it. And, um, and I will move to my, uh, my little demo. And I will show you later on how, how it's being built. So it's a, a, a small bot. Let's imagine a situation that um, I have uh, IoT in home. So in fact, I have, uh, uh, I have uh, a Raspberry Pi over here. Uh, with a small camera uh, for uh, small cam for uh, for Raspberry, and my idea is that I would like to make uh, um, um, uh, colors in my home according to my moods. So let's say I am feeling a little blue today, so uh, it might uh, mean something uh, important for uh, for me, or maybe I would like to have some jazz or something, and. Uh, and that means that that colors in my home supposed to be uh, uh, um, like uh, purple, or maybe red, or maybe green, or maybe neutral, white. 
So uh, with this, um, I can set up my home in some, um, some environment. One, one approach is just to talk to your phone and uh, let, um, let the system get ready with, uh, with, what, you, uh, with what, you, uh, what you feel, or you can send a text message. So uh, I like setting up your car uh, to, to get, get it running before you come there and, um, and let the air conditioning working for, for the time you are approaching the car for, let's say, uh, five minutes before you, you go to the car in order to make it uh, cool enough in a summer day. I'm, I'm making an effort to, to get the home ready and some environment also ready. So, so I will send a, a message that I am a, I'm happy uh, to be with Signal today. I will send this message and uh, what's going to happen, I'm going to also take a picture uh, of my home. Uh, how it's going to, to get ready. So we can see the picture. I'm still working on an MMS, so it's a little bit on the side. <laughs> but you can, uh, you can, maybe you can see yourself over there. And uh, so, um, so this is a small demo, and I'm going to go through the uh, entire process how how it's uh, it's being built. So you will be able to uh, to follow uh, follow entire process yourself. So let me. Um, let me go back here. So, uh, what is going? What's what's happening in this demo? So, first of all, um, let me open the um, let me open the uh, dashboard of Bluemix. So, I have uh, over here several applications, but one that I'm using today is this My Home IoT. So, in My, My Home IoT, I'm using um, several several services that are bound together, and um, and I'm waiting, oh, okay. And uh, I'm consuming Alchemy API. I'm consuming Internet of Things because I need to connect to my uh, Raspberry Pi. I'm using Cloud and Database because I'm storing somewhere the pictures. And I'm using Twilio. So, um, so now, um, if I want to see what, what is happening behind, I'm using this uh, graph that um, colleague of mine told me it's uh, maybe not too clear, but uh, let, me, let me go through it uh, step by step. So first of all, I'm getting the message from Twilio. As you know, if you uh, create a Twilio, Twilio service, uh, it pulls uh, or sends the message to the, um, to the specified API. So in this case, this is my specified uh, API, and, and I'm getting messages here. So let me try to... Um, I will clear here, and um, I will show you how, how the messages are appearing. So I will send test, which is a neutral me message. So let me go there. So I'm, I am uh, putting the text message, and we, sh we should see the debug on the, on the side. So um, I got the message, as you see over here. And um, so this, uh, this little... Um, uh, a uh, little um, uh, square over here, uh, rectangle, sorry, uh, is uh, providing me with the debug. And, um, and it's very easy to, um, to work with this. This is, this is called Node-RED, so it's abstraction layer on, the, on top of the uh, Node.js that is behind. So, so this is uh, how I am going to pull this, uh, this uh, uh, message. So let, let me try to de redeploy. I will clear it. So, so like this, all almost all of the blocks are being built. So, uh, I I am worrying. I'm worried. So, um, so now this message is coming over here, and um, and uh, the sent sentiment of the message you, you don't see it. So let me let me bring it. So uh, I'm worried. The sentiment of the message is. Uh, uh, is negative, so I'm getting um, uh, um, information that I set up a little bit later. Let me see uh, how it goes. So I get SMS, uh, so text message from from entire stack over here. So if you analyze uh, uh, JSON, you will see that the text message um, is uh, is uh, somewhere over here. 
So it's body. I am worried. This is this is, this is the, the the part. So I need to uh, get the SMS, the text itself. So as you see, I'm going to payload message and payload body, uh, which is exactly this. So with this message, I'm going. Um, as you know, um, Twilio and IBM uh, Watson are in partnership providing you with add-ons. So I didn't uh, include that add-on yet, but you would see it already over here if you have this add-on done. I just pulled a home sentiment, so I, I went down in this node red um, over here, and I pulled one of the services, so sentiment, and I just created the name and gets this message inside and pulls the data and sends it to the switch. So in the output, I'm getting uh, information. Let, let me try once more. So I will open here um, the box. So you will see. So I, I, will, I will type, I am stressed. So, um, so with the stress, we are here. So I am stressed. I'm getting the payload from uh, home sentiment with some um, some scores. So minus two comparative minus 0.6, and uh, we have various tokens for for uh, for sentiment of entire message. So this message goes now to switch, and based on the is it positive or negative or neutral. So neutral would be. Um, if the payload is equal to zero, uh, because switch is just uh, um, checking if it's greater uh, greater than zero, so the positive that means a positive message, negative so uh, less than zero and equal zero that means neutral. I am uh, I am getting responses. So responses are pretty simple um, uh, functions that just add to the payload. They are adding some text. So I'm putting a smiley face, a neutral smiley face, and uh, I'm saying neutral sentiment. So um, so then when when the message is being constructed back, I am doing uh, three things. One thing is. Uh, I'm sending response because it's uh, it's a message back to the uh, back to the service of Twilio. The other thing I'm doing is uh, I'm sending response back to um, uh, to Twilio service uh, with this message. So thanks to that, uh, just uh, adding Twilio service over here. I'm just pulling. I pulled the service from here. And it's um, um, and it's being filled with the information, so it's pretty simple. You can use it every time for the prototyping very quickly, or you can, if you're teaching, if you are teaching someone uh, how to use um, tw um, Twilio, how to use other services, you, you just use that. In addition to that, I'm also sending and invoking Raspberry Pi. So um, I, I have a Raspberry Pi over here connected uh, with my own hotspot, which is forbidden for this conference, so don't do it. <laughs> I'm going to, to get an uh, invoice later on, I guess. So, um, so let, me, um, let me go to the Raspberry Pi. So Raspberry Pi is sitting here, and it has several, several things. As you can see, it pulls from time to time the temperature. Um, this is the very basic uh, stuff. But you must know that um, Raspberry Pi, the latest uh, Raspbian, uh, Jesse comes with Node Red, so you can install Node Red on the Raspbian, and you can use all the uh, some of the commands. Some of them you need to install, like uh, like one of the commands I'm using. It's um, uh, it's uh, Cloudant, so I had to cl install the Cloudant from outside. But now I can um, uh, use it uh, in the in the process. So. Every uh, every minute, I am pulling the information about my temperature of the uh, of, of the uh, of the uh, Raspberry Pi, and I am sending it as as an event that is being consumed by by my original um, Raspberry Pi. Uh, I mean, original IoT Watson uh, uh, flow over here, and it's putting the st status message. Uh, what is the temperature? So if temperature grows, as you can see, it gives uh, like 35.8 Celsius. 
um, which is uh, like uh, hot during the hottest day, uh, maybe not the hottest, but like 100, um, around 100 in, um, in Silicon Valley. So, um, so now let's go back to our flow. So what, what happens next? Um, we are in our flow for the, um, for this guy. So it gets a command from here. So I am sending a command to Raspberry Pi. So this is, uh, is it a positive, negative, or neutral? I can select one of them, but I'm just pulling the information every time. And I'm taking the picture. So um, every time I'm getting the message, I am, uh, I'm, I'm invoking the um, uh, Raspberry Pi camera, so you can install the Raspberry Pi camera and invoke it in the in the function. And um, it takes a small small picture, 60 per 40, 400, 600 per 400, with the good compression. And I'm sending this um, over here. So I'm encoding this as a JSON and putting it to the Cloudant database, so it's a NoSQL database. And um, and on the other fork, I am uh, I am sending this picture back to the as a as a file name to the system. So I'm getting this uh, picture over here. Uh, it's back in in the cloud, and uh, I'm just filtering it out and sending as an MM, MMS message. I'm having some trouble to uh, to make it as a MMS, so I'm still working on that. I started two days ago, so. So it's, um, um, I'm just getting a, a link. And this link goes back to the uh, Twilio service. And, um, and I'm getting this, um, this picture. So we can, we can go here and uh, watch how the picture is being taken. So uh, some of you that sits uh, in the front, they can see uh, um, a light when, when I will send the picture. Let me, let me go here. So uh, hello, which is neutral uh, message. I'm sending the picture, I mean, I'm sending the message. So it can, uh, if you watch here, sometimes it's, uh, you can see how, uh, how the messages are, are being uh, passed over. So hopefully it's, uh, we, we are going to see. How fast the system works. Sometimes it takes some time. Okay, uh, now you see the dots. So the picture was take, taken, and, uh, and now we can see again the, the picture in the back end. And uh, so uh, we, can, we, can, we, can, we, can, we can recognize some peop people in the front. So, so as you can see, uh, they are the same people. I'm not faking it out. <laughs> and uh, so let me, let me go back to the... So, um, so having that, um, we have the picture, and um, and now um, one more thing we can see it's a, it's a database. So we have we are using no SQL, SQL database to uh, to manage entire um, entire solution. So um, so we have this database over here. Uh, you can you can um, you can access it. So it's. Uh, what, what I'm using, I'm using a boilerplate, so it comes with the database, and it's pretty simple, and, um, but let me start this, this one so you can see how I constructed the database. So it's my database, Node-RED, it's um, artifacts of the, uh, artifacts of the, uh, of the Node-RED solution, so that means um, uh, Node-RED is a Node.js uh, application, and, and our pictures. So our pictures are stored here. Uh, I took some pictures on course of the last two days, and, um, and you can see the data, the payload, and so on, and the pictures that were taken, and, and the size of the pictures. So uh, this is the database, and now I would like to show you uh, how it, it's easy to create the app. So uh, you will be able to re replicate what we are doing here. I have five minutes more, so I hope you will enjoy. Um, so uh, in order to create solutions like this, you go to catalog. Uh, so, so the first step is, in fact, to uh, get yourself a, a, a Bluemix ID. And it takes about a couple minutes to do it. And uh, it's free of charge for 30 days. And if you are a developer and you don't exceed some number of the calls, it's also free. 
you click on the boilerplate. And uh, some people are asking me what is boilerplate. I didn't know how to uh, answer this question in the beginning, but as a student and sometimes when I am um, as a bachelor, uh, my, my kids and my wife are away for the summer or something, uh, I'm using a noodle soup. So it's a, like a noodle soup. It's a soup, but taste, uh, taste is terrible. But uh, it can, uh, it can uh, say, um, be used for, for some, uh, some uh, fun purpose like, like a demo and, um, or prototype. So this is the, um, the setup you see usually when you, when you start this, um, this application. So you have Cloudant database and uh, Node.js um, server. And you say, for example, that you, you, are, you need to call this uh, like Twilio, Twilio demo. Uh, 2016, and you create the service. So with that, it's as, as simple as that. It creates a, a service for us. It's deploying it in the, in the back end, hopefully. So um, um, Bluemix is based on the Cloud Foundry. So um, Cloud Foundry, uh, it's open source. Uh, IBM just added few few things, um, uh, like Watson services and, uh, and other services to make it uh, um, interesting for, for all of us and for ro robots. And, um, and then you download the, the messages and so on. So um, uh, we put the name that uh, uh, this, um, so it's still starting, so staging. It's like a noodle soup. I was, uh, I was using this uh, comparison. Uh, why it's noodle soup? Because um, uh, it takes some time to get the noodles uh, ready with the hot water. So it, it needs uh, to stage to the, to the system. And, um, And you can see all the applications uh, that are over there uh, staging. So this is this application that is uh, being uh, run at the moment. Excuse me. And when it's ready, um, you can uh, you can see. Uh, um, that is a, a green light over there. So what is next step for me with this demo? So not only I'm going to blog about this and, uh, and we will have a small uh, seminar about that, so you will be able to uh, download the code uh, for, for all these uh, elements that we were showing. I'm also trying to put this on the mobile platform of the robot and uh, managing this robot from, uh, not only from the text messages but also from the, from the mobile device and maybe speaking to the robot, uh, like using um, uh, text-to-speech and speech-to-text speech um, uh, um, uh, interface. So, so we can, uh, let me go back here while it's loading, so I'll entertain you with, with some stuff. So one of the applications I created uh, uh, is uh, is this uh, this small one? So um, so it can listen listen to me, and I can um, I can use various uh, 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 various commands. And let me see if, if we can hear if it's uh, speak hello. It might not speak. Yeah, it doesn't speak. So it speaks with my voice. And application st still still is staging. Oh, it's 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 ready. So your app is running. So now we can uh, just turn it on, and it comes to the uh, Node Red in Bluemix. Node Red is uh, uh, made open by uh, by IBM, and you can use it. So the last thing I'm going to show it's this very basic demo. So um, if we use uh, my previous uh, source code, um, because I'm running out of the time. But let me just go here, and um, and if I use from this flow, if I use this IoT one, and if I use Quick Start demo, I can pull the information to the new one, which is this one.
And uh, if I deploy, I should get the messages from, um, from my Raspberry Pi, potentially. So every one minute it, it shows up. So let me, see, let, let, let me try to... Um, So it's my previous, uh, it's not this one. So this is the picture and I'm sending messages from uh, every five seconds uh, from this one. Okay. Uh, but it, it already got some uh, some information, uh, but from different node, because you can uh, in a, in such a uh, so it gets the t temperature uh, 36. And this one uh, it g gives the static temperature, so you will for sure see. Uh, that uh, I'm using this one, so, so I sent 30, 30 degrees, and did it work? Oh, this is not this one. Uh, now you, you won't believe me if it's a good one. So I'm, I'm getting it here. I will try once more. Uh, the safe way is to uh, leave the page. I will just go here, and I will inject one more, so you can um, see it appearing. Okay, clearing that and um, injecting. So we get the message here, and it says 30 degrees within the safe limits, and that's. Uh, Showing how you can uh, you can use it. So I would like to thank you very much for uh, for listening. And uh, if you have any questions, I will be in the, at the IBM booth. Thank you. <laughs>